Before you spend a fortune on an expensive wedding dress, watch this video. Hey everybody, so obviously today I'm going to be doing an ASOS wedding dress review for a dress that I bought for under $200. I really don't believe in buying expensive wedding dresses if you don't need to. Um, there's so many places online where you can get really affordable dresses. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today is this dress that I bought. I just got it in the mail and I haven't opened it up yet, so I'm pretty excited. So watch this video until the end because obviously ASOS is awesome and has a lot of really cheap wedding dresses on their website. And then go check out another wedding video I made with my fiance as I asked him to rate six wedding dresses that I bought online under $300. So if you don't find something on ASOS, hopefully you'll find something else in this other video I made. Uh, my name is Brittany. I write for wayfaringweddings.com and I'm making this YouTube channel about like my own wedding planning journey. So if you like this video, please don't forget to like it below and then check out some of my other videos um, and subscribe to my channel and join me in this wedding planning journey. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and open this up and let's see what we got. So the dress that I bought is called the um, Anaya with Love Tool Plunge Front Tool Maxi Dress with Cape Detail in White. <laughs> I don't know why they always have these really long, complicated, very descriptive names, but that seems to be how it is on all of these wedding websites. Um, and I paid in total $126.84 in Canadian dollars. Um, I had the ship to Vancouver where I live right now. And I think that was with a discount, like a $20 discount because I have the Honey plugin on my browser. So that took off some of the money and then the delivery was free, but I got charged like 30 something dollars when I went to pick it up because of duties and taxes, international stuff. And then it took about two weeks to be delivered from, um, and I actually don't know where it ships from, where ASOS ships from, but to get to Canada. You can find dresses in the price price range on ASOS from, I believe like $50 up to around $800. So there's dresses in sort of different affordable price ranges and all different styles. So there's like boho -y dresses, which I like with like pretty sleeves. Um, and then there's also short dresses, sleeve sleeveless dresses, um, strapless, all kinds of stuff. So definitely check that out. The one that I got here, very exciting. <laughs> Ooh. So this one is very tooly, which actually like isn't something that I've looked at much or like considered much for my dresses. I'm not, I don't think I'm much of a tool person usually, but I thought this one was really pretty. So I decided to try it out. Yes, very like a ballerina-y. <laughs> <laughs> this dress. Uh -huh. Yeah, so this is very different from the other dresses that I've tried on in some of my other videos. Um, but what I love about this are the sleeves, the like fluffy, fluffy, flowy sleeves here. And I also like the v-neck. That's kind of, I don't know, I like that um, sort of plunge thing in front. For my eco-friendly friends out there, um, there's a tag here that says the luxury fabric used in this garment is also made from recycled plastic. And it also says that um, when you no longer need this dress, please consider gifting it to our partner charity. And then there's Wedding Wishing Well Foundation. So you can donate this dress afterward. And they encourage you to do that, which I think is pretty cool. I got a size eight in this dress. I usually buy um, a, sometimes a six, usually an eight. Um, and like a medium in most dress sizes and um, in US sizes. And I'm 5'7", about 140 pounds. So let's see how this looks on me. Okay guys, I'm gonna continue to apologize for the strange angle. It's the only way I can get my whole dress in the frame. <laughs> um, so my initial thoughts are that this is yes, indeed, very Thule. Um, but it's comfortable, it's pretty comfy. It doesn't feel stiff or like it, it's super, super comfortable. So that's my first thought. I'm just gonna back up so you can see it. I'll say it feels like a very modest dress, um, like, I mean, despite the little plunge here, <laughs> uh, but it just feels, I don't know, it feels kind of ethereal and 
goddess-like. <laughs> Probably my favorite things about it are the neckline. I'm just kind of a fan of the, the V. Um, and then the sleeves. I think the sleeves are really cool. And under the skirt, so under the skirt there's a, <laughs> there's a layer of tulle and then there's also a slip, like a white, a white slip thing. Um, so I imagine that you can wear any kind of underwear under this. I'm not wearing a bra with it. Um, it seems to be fine, but you could easily wear a bra, I think. This would cover everything up, cover up any straps pretty well. So I made another wedding dress try-on video where I try on affordable wedding dresses from not only ASOS, but also other affordable dress companies like Lulu's and Mod Cloth and Nordstrom. And I try them all on together and compare the best affordable wedding dresses. So please head on over to that video after this one. Just don't feel pressured to buy an expensive wedding dress. It's really unnecessary. Um, there are plenty of other great options available for you online that are cheap, beautiful, in many cases, eco-friendly and ethical. Uh, so check out that video. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe.